History One. Today, Mora Lynn is going to read you a story about having guests for Shabbat, which is a very big mitzvah. The name of this book is called Dovi and the Surprise Guest. The author is Goldie Golding. <clears throat> Dovi and his family love to have guests over for the Shabbat meals. One Friday, he looked a little upset as he put down the telephone. Ari the lion just called, he said to Debbie. He's sorry, but he won't be able to come for Shabbat. He just came down with the chicken pox. They tried inviting other guests, but everyone seemed to have a place to eat. Well, said Dovi sadly, it looks like we won't have any guests for Shabbat. Don't be sad, said Debbie. We still have time to invite someone. Speaking of time, she cried, pointing to the clock. It's almost Shabbat. I better start cooking. <laughs> so she took out a pot and she began to make hamim. First, she put in a piece of meat for Dovi, then some potatoes for herself, and plippity plop into the pot went a handful of baby lima beans for a little feral bear. <clears throat> Too bad, said Dovi. There will only be we three, Debbie, Beryl, and Bear, and me. If we only had a Shabbat guest. Aw, oh, he looks sad. His face looks sad. His expression is sad. Don't be doubtful, said Debbie, as she put on her coat. We still have time to invite someone. She grabbed her purse and ran out to do some last-minute shopping. Soon she met careful cuff did you hear the news asked careful cuff bashful boyish became a daddy his wife just had a baby hmm thought debbie she's thinking i wonder if bashful boyish has a place to eat for shabbat do you think she's going to invite maybe bashful boyish and before careful cuff could swing away debbie ran off in search of bashful boyish mazel tov said debbie when she found him if your wife is staying in the hospital, would you like to be our guest this Shabbat? Bashful boyish face lit up. He was so happy. He was happy that Debbie invited him since he was much too bashful to ask himself. Bashful means he was shy. But are you sure, he asked in a very tiny voice. Sure, I'm sure, said Debbie. There's always food for one more. As soon as Debbie got home, she ran to the kitchen and plippity pop into the pot went a handful of kidney beans for bashful boyish. Meanwhile, Dovey was in the den cleaning for Shabbat. He didn't know that a guest was coming. If we only had a Shabbat guest, he was thinking. He's sad, he's, he's sad. He doesn't know that they have a guest coming. Tap, tap, someone was pecking at the window. It was Yoni. Yoni, said Debbie, letting him fly in. What brings you to this neck of the woods? I'm singing in your neighborhood this Shabbat, said Yoni. <laughs> Yoni's a little bird. Would you like to be our Shabbat guest, asked Debbie. Yoni chirped happily. Are you sure, he asked. Sure, I'm sure, said Debbie. There's always food for one more. As soon as she, went, as soon as she shut the window, Debbie ran to the kitchen and flippity-plop, into the pot went a handful of pinto beans for Yoni. Meanwhile, Dovi was busy vacuuming. He still didn't know that guests were coming. If we only had a Shabbat guest, he was thinking. <clears throat> By this time, it was getting late. Debbie was setting the table when she heard knocking at the front door. Knock, knock. It was Grumpy Gamal. I'm so happy to see you, said Debbie. Please come in. But Grumpy Gamal didn't look happy at all. Something is wrong with my refrigerator. He grumbled. Now I will have spoiled food for Shabbat. Naturally, Debbie wanted Gamal to eat a delicious meal on Shabbat, not a spoiled one. So she invited him. Would you like to be our Shabbat guest, she asked. I wouldn't mind, said Grumpy Gamal, but are you sure? Sure, I'm sure, said Debbie. 
There's always food for one more. As soon as she closed the door, she ran to the kitchen and plippity plop into the pot went a handful of barley for a grumpy Gamal. Meanwhile, Dovi was upstairs giving Beryl Bear a bath in honor of Shabbat. He still had no idea that guests were coming. If we only had a Shabbat guest, he was thinking. Now it was getting very close to Shabbat. Debbie was in the kitchen preparing chicken and potatoes for Friday night. Dovi was taking a shower. Beryl Bear was in his room picking up his toys. Suddenly, there was a great screech and then a crank crank followed by a honk honk. Debbie ran out to see what it was all about. <clears throat> there was poor Peel. He was having car trouble again. I'll never make it home in time for Shabbat, sobbed poor Peel, and he burst into tears. Sobbed mean he was crying. Don't cry, said Debbie as she handed him a tissue. You can be our Shabbat guest. Are you sure, asked Peel. Sure, I'm sure, said Debbie. There's always food for one more. She ran into the kitchen and flippity plop into the pot went a handful of potatoes for poor Peel. Debbie stopped to think for a moment. Then she took an extra handful of beans and threw it into the bubbling pot. You just never know, she giggled. She's <laughs> thinking maybe someone else might come. Quickly, she took a shower and she got dressed. Shabbat shalom, said Dovi as he hurried off to shul. Oh no, thought Debbie to herself. He left before I had a chance to tell him about the guest. Finally, it was time to light the Shabbat candles. Debbie covered her eyes as she lovingly welcomed the Shabbat queen. It was peaceful and quiet. Soon the guests began to arrive from shul. They helped to set up all the chairs and they waited for Dovi. They closed their eyes and enjoyed the smell of tomorrow's hamim. A few minutes later, in came Dobie with a surprise. Shabbat Shalom, he said to Debbie. He was beaming. That means he was smiling. He was so happy. Look at his face. He's smiling. In shul, I found a Shabbat guest. Shabbat Shalom, said Debbie, smiling sweetly. I have a surprise, too. When Dobie opened the dining room door, he just couldn't believe what he saw. What do you think he saw, children? Around the table were guests and guests galore. That means a lot of guests. He laughed and laughed so hard that he flippity flopped right onto the floor. He's laughing. Dovi's heart brimmed with happiness, thinking how lucky he and his family were to be able to share their meal with others. There's no doubt about it, he said. This is the best way to enjoy a Shabbat meal. It's a big mitzvah to have guest for Shabbat and there's a song Hachnasad Orchim it means inviting guests Hachnasad Orchim it's friendship at its best Hachnasad Orchim invite a friend or two Hachnasad Orchim it's something you can do okay children Shabbat Shalom have a great day